if making presentations and slide decks is still taking you hours, then you're doing them wrong because we can use Google Gemini to do this in minutes. It'll help you think and then do the heavy lifting before building your presentation. All you have to do is add the finishing touches and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it in this video. So to kick things off, you need to go to Google Gemini. You can find it at gemini.google.com and it'll bring you to a screen like this. Now, before you do anything, we need to kick things off with the right prompt to streamline this process as much as possible. So I've written us a starting prompt here for us to use, which I'll show you how to fill in and use in a second. By the way, you can get this prompt in my AI recipe vault, which goes through step-by-step step how to do this process, but you'll also find loads more stuff in here that walk you through with prompts how to achieve loads of stuff with AI. There's a link in the description where you can get all of this to get these prompts below. But we'll take this first prompt, copy it. Now let's dig in a little bit. It looks quite long and complicated, but it's actually super simple. The role, you're a professional designer and content strategist, create a clear, visually engaging slide presentation on topic. So we need to add a topic in here. So actually my topic, I want to turn this YouTube video, which I did, on trying 237 AI tools and picking the best for 2026. I wanna turn this into a nice webinar presentation. So we're gonna put that in here. So the best AI tools of 2026 in the middle here. And then we need to add some context and scope because I need to give it more information to work with rather than just making it up. To do this, I like to grab the links to my YouTube videos and head over to a tool called youtube-transcript.io. This is a super convenient tool to extract transcripts from videos. And in a second, we've got the transcript ready to go here. We can copy transcript, move back over and put this into this section of our prompt here for all the context and information. Loads of stuff in there for it to go through and pull out that's from my brain, basically. Now, if you don't have a YouTube video, you can use things like blog posts. You could actually record yourself talking through a subject, get AI to interview you back, ask you questions, answer those questions either straight into AI or using a transcript generator, pop that in there, and that's going to give you the context for your presentation. So just get that information in there any way you know how. This presentation is intended for business professionals and they are beginner. Then the prompt just goes on to talk about the slide structure requirements, any design and some in image guidance as well there. Now, before we run this, we need to go to the bottom right here and make sure we've got thinking mode turned on to give it the best abilities to siphon through this information and make decisions. Then we wanna to go to this tools button here and make sure we've got canvas switched on. That's the mode we need to actually create a presentation. Then when we're ready to go, we can hit submit and start running this prompt. And straight away, it gets to work. You can see on the right here, it started creating these slides and it should take a few minutes just to do this. And to be honest, it took less than a couple of minutes to actually create our presentation here. We've got a nice clean best of AI tools 2026 and then each slide nicely presented for us. Now, it is a bit basic and it is a bit simple. And I'll show you how we're gonna ramp that up in one second. Before we do that, I just wanna make our speaker notes to go with it from the presentation, which again, I've got a prompt here that we can use. We can just copy and paste this very simple one, act as a confident presenter, delivering this slide deck, write speaker notes for each slide that do these things and keep it to three to five sentences max. So we'll take that and we're actually gonna then go and run that prompt in the bottom here to generate our speaker notes automatically based off everything we've got. So it'll take info from my transcript and base it on the slides we've created. Now, while that runs, we can actually go over back to the slides and we can do this. We can click export to slides in the top right. And this is important because now we're gonna be able to start putting the finishing touches and improving it in Google Slides. Pretty quickly, you'll have this open slides button in the bottom left and boom, it runs in Google Slides. Now this next step is things where, now this next step is where things get really powerful. In the bottom middle here, you'll see this button beautify this slide and this is going to beautify our slide for us basically. It's where we're going to make really quick improvements. So I'll hit that button there and you'll see on the right now we get this help me visualize and it uses the nano banana tool from Gemini to start generating images, graphics, improvements to our slides. So we can go through slide by slide and actually do this really easily. So you'll see that maybe some of the images haven't worked out so well, or we're not happy with some of the, the images in here. We can go and improve them as we want. But basically for our first slide, we see this, we've got this generation. So added some depth and some techiness to our slide, which is really cool. 
And there we go, our headline slide has been improved. Then we can go through, we can go through and tap on text and start editing text if we want to, or just leave it as is. Or in the bottom right here, we've got the ability to have images, infographics, and new slides generated. We could say, create an infographic showing how speaking is faster than typing using AI based on this slide, run that, and it will get to work generating our infographic. The same is true of images and new slides as well. Now, while that runs, one thing I should say is at the bottom as well, you get another slide, which includes any link to images that it might have pulled. Now, some of the images corrupted when it pulled over from Google Gemini. Usually they're pretty good, but it does have references to any of those images. And on the right here as well, you can also pull images from stock footage from the web in from your Google Drive and Google Photos as well. But here we go. But here we go, our infographic has been created, actually bringing that to life about how manual typing is and how speaking is super quick, three times faster, which I go through in that YouTube video, of course. So we can insert that as our new slide and boom, it brings it to life again. And it's as easy as that. In a few minutes, we've got a clean presentation and then we can add more graphics, more visuals to really spring it into life. Of course, we've got our speaker notes as well that we generated a second ago that we can start taking. Unfortunately, it doesn't automatically put these into the slides, but we can go and put them into our slides here to start adding our speaker notes for our presentation. Then once we're happy, we can either run it straight into slideshow mode and just present. We can, of course, share our Google documents and Google slides, or we can go file at the top here, download as PowerPoint, PDF, JPEGs, or even this new feature, which says convert to video. So we could actually try, let's see what happens when we convert to video here. It's actually going to bring it into what looks like Google, a Google video suite and turn our slides into a video. Okay, actually it took just a few seconds to do that. And if we hit play, oh, it's, it's over with AI and everything. Welcome. Today, we're cutting through the noise. After personally testing- We can sort of have a, a video interactive presentation with an AI voice in there as well and do all sorts of things. Maybe in my next video, we'll go into Google vids because I haven't started using this yet and might be interesting to play around with.